I'm Grampy, a.k.a. Mike. Welcome to Episode 4 of Jacob and Grampy's Lego Fire Trucks. Since Jacob is busy playing baseball now that it's spring, I thought I'd give you a look at one of my own fire truck creations. This is one of Jake's trucks, which is six studs wide. And here's Grampy's Squad 21. I'm not sure what the scale would be, because it looks a little small next to the 1 13th scale Lego Ford Mustang. I hatched the idea for this project at the beginning of 2020 and had every intention of working on it side by side with Jacob, but then COVID hit and ruined all of our plans for a joint effort. However, it became a great stay-at-home project for me. During the three months it took me to build, Jacob provided constant input, reviewed my in-progress photos, and used Zoom video conferences to mentor me and keep my enthusiasm high. In the process, he came up with some great suggestions for making the truck as realistic as possible. I got the idea for this build from an actual fire truck serving the citizens of Enfield, Connecticut in the Thompsonville Fire District. I decided to make a replica of the squad for one major reason. There are no ladders on the sides or atop the truck. For the size mock I envisioned, making realistic ladders out of Lego pieces would have been problematic and I didn't want to delay my project while I tried to figure out a design solution. As it turned out, building the Lego Mustang prior to Squad 21 was a godsend. It provided a perfect door hinge design, a great bucket seat sample, and had tires that were perfect for the arches I selected for the wheel wells. I wish Lego had a slightly larger tire, but I couldn't find anything in the Lego parts catalog or the aftermarket. I settled on 16 studs wide right from the start so that the math would be easier. But that meant the windshield would be a challenge. I'm not aware of any 16 wide windshields, so I ended up using two 4x6s and one 4x4 in the middle. After the chassis and wheel wells, I immediately tackled the front doors. Once I got to the back doors, however, I realized that I should have made the front doors narrower. But by that time, it would have taken several days to disassemble everything and rework the doors. So I said to heck with it and pressed on. The top of the truck can be removed in two pieces to view the interior. I originally didn't have the jump seats and the Scott air packs in the back cabin. But Jacob, who was 10 at the time, explained how the oxygen tanks were stored in cubby holes behind the seats so the firemen could sit down and strap them on while on the way to the fire. He was very happy when I was able to work the oxygen tanks into the design. When I built the squad three years ago, I was worried about what Lego purists might think about using shoelaces to simulate fire hoses. Lo and behold, not long afterward, Lego came out with a replica of the Adidas Superstar sneaker that includes a real shoelace. I had to give Jacob credit for suggesting that I use shoelaces for the fire hoses in the first place. I did have an opportunity to show the truck to the firemen at the Thompsonville station. A newspaper photographer was there to document my visit. The firefighters were impressed, despite the minor inaccuracies. As you can see, I painted the back of the truck and applied graphic art tape as well as automobile pinstriping. I made all of the stickers from photos I took of the actual truck. After photoshopping for size and color matching, I had Minuteman Press print out some adhesive sticker sheets for me. I'm very pleased with how well the LEGO Squad 21 resembles the actual truck. If I had it to do all over again, I would shorten the front doors, make the truck steerable, and install working lights. If I had the know-how, I would love to motorize it with power functions or s bricks. I truly enjoyed building this replica of Thompsonville Fire Department Squad 21 fire truck. I hope you enjoyed the video. I promise that Jacob will be back soon to tell you more about his fire truck mocks. Until then, please join me in thanking all of our firefighters, police and corrections officers, EMTs, dispatchers, and members of our armed forces for their service and sacrifices. God bless you all.